Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another post fight reaction video to another fight last night that ended in a very devastating fashion. Uh, Maria Agapova versus Hannah Cyphers. Uh, first off, I just got to say, never underestimate a hungry fighter. Um, never take a late replacement fight against somebody that's very hungry and very dangerous and out of your out of your weight class, out of your league. Uh, Maria Agapova, like I said in my previous video, you know, I've talked to her a few times online and um, just seen her train and just watched, you know, a lot of her past fights from Invicta and the contender. And I just say, you know, this girl's dangerous. You know, so I say shout out to Tracy Cortez, who was able to beat her. Um, you know, I think that Maria Agapova is just a very, very raw talent at 23, you know, and um, going into this fight. UFC debut, you know, she was just going to come in there and make the statement. You know, she was just going to come in there and make the statement. So whoever it was was going to feel this wrath. And um, I just hate that it had to be Hannah Cyphers. You know, um, Hannah Cyphers, uh, two weeks removed from her Mackenzie Dern loss, uh, a fight that she started off strong in at 115. And now she makes a return two weeks later after, a, I won't say a physically uh, physically, you know, a fight where she was physically hurt, but more so psychologically, you know, any fighter is going to be mentally, you know, a little mentally broke after um, a fight where they could have won, but all of a sudden they may have fell into a certain trap, you know, it can be psychologically damaging, but, um, you know, going into this uh, fight here two weeks later, you're going in at a much bigger weight, you know, 10 pounds heavier against a very dangerous, hungry fighter, and once again, hungry fighter, um and man this one will just be this one could just turn into what it was a more psychologically and physically damaging fight that's why i was just thinking man like the first thing i said is like what was her team thinking you know um of course you know dana white the matchmakers if they just need a fight that'll fill in for melissa gato um whoever answers that call they'll jump in, you know, but I'm just kind of wondering, like, did her team try to talk her out of this or were they just like, yeah, take the fight, take the fight. You got it. Or was it just like a big bag on the line where they just said, OK, you you know, it doesn't matter if you lose or not. But um, sometimes, man, you just got to think you just got to think first. Man, You just got to think of your well-being and your career path and not just of the bag in the moment. You know, uh, like I said, I don't know what the bag amount was, but this wasn't the fight for Hannah Cyphers to take. You know, um, maybe if she was late, late replacement to fight somebody in the 115, 150 pound, 115 pound division. Yeah. But this one, man, I don't know, man. This was just a bad choice for Hannah Cyphers. Um, you know, I said it in my prediction video and it showed and it showed in proof in this fight. Um, I actually gave her two rounds in my prediction, but Maria Agapova only needed three, like three minutes in this fight. Like maybe it was like maybe a little more than two or three minutes to do what she did against um, Hannah Cyphers. And um, man, she did it uh, right away in that first round. Um, she just dictated the pace, had fun with her, the longer reach. You know, she was just jabbing, just having a field day, just having a strike and field day with the jab in the right hand, just popping Hannah Cyphers with all kinds of jabs from the outside. You know, outside shots, the leg kicks, uh, just hitting her to the body. Uh, just just target practice for uh, Maria Agapova, you know, and um, I do got I, I got to give Hannah Cypher some credit. You know, she tried to use her weight a little bit. She tried to use the strength, um, tried to close the distance and smother Maria Agapova, but she wasn't very effective um, on the inside. She was trying to get the clinch, but she was still getting hit with big knees from Agapova. You know, she wasn't able to really get off her own knees. And um Every time she would just have to break free from the clinch, she would try to land that right elbow or, you know, that that elbow as she comes out, which is a sneaky little trick for Hannah Sipes. It's a good trick, though. You know, like as you break, you try to hit off the break. But um, that wasn't enough. You know, it wasn't enough. You know, she had to find something else to close that reach and take it to the ground. But Maria Agapova has pretty decent takedown defense as well. So you're dealing with a taller, longer, natural flyweight, flyweight that's strong as hell. So... What else can you do in this round? You know, Maria Agapova just goes back to playing, you know, playing, not really playing around, but, you know, just having fun now. You know, she's just firing off shots and then she lands a big head kick right on the chin of Hannah Cyphers. And right away I said, this is, yeah, you, you, you're going to, you were going to see the end of this fight pretty soon. And when she landed that shot, 
Uh, she landed a few more big shots to Hannah Cyphers, and this fight pretty much went how the Alexa Connor fight went. After she hurt her and rocked Hannah Cyphers, she jumped on the back, put that weight on her, got the arm up under. As you can see right here in the picture, she got the arm, uh, right arm, uh, right up under the chin, and squeezed. Just squeezed until Hannah Cyphers tapped, and that was it. Um, fight pretty much went the same way the Alexa Connor fight went. Like like I said, it would probably go, and um, yeah. Uh, Maria Agapova won her first uh, fight in the UFC against Hannah Cyphers via uh, submission, rear naked choke. And um, I think the only question is, uh, was this a good choice for Hannah Cyphers? No. What is she going to do from here? You know, because uh, I think that was a very damaging fight for her to take. You know, um, much more damage, much more damaging than the Mackenzie Dern fight, because at least she could say from the Mackenzie Dern fight, she just made one little slip up, you know, but this Mary Agapova fight to me was just an all-around bad choice for Hannah Cyphers. But uh, not to take away from anything from Maria Agapova though, because she did what she was supposed to do. You know, she came to fight. She did it. She went. She went through all the motions. She did what she did. You know, from training. Um, you know, she put on the show, and um, she yeah, I think she's gonna be. I think she's definitely gonna put some life into the flyweight division. If you ask me, I think Maria Agapova is what they need. You know, especially even after she won, you know, the, the face she makes, you know, the, the way she comes out, you know, she's very confident. And I think that's what the division needs right now. Uh, Flyweight has a lot of talent, but they need some they need some life. You know, you got one of the best fighters in the world in the division like Valentina, but you need somebody with some spice, somebody with, you know, that's going to put some character in there. You know, somebody like that brings, you know, even like, you know, I'm not a biggest Joanna fan, but even Joanna put some character and some lifeblood into the strawweight division so if Maria Agapova can just do something you know um keep you know keep doing what she does I think she'll be the next big thing in uh, the flyweight division division but yeah man shout out to her for uh you know uh making a big statement in her UFC debut as for Hannah Cyphers like I said it's either going down to strawweight or going off to uh Invicta in the atomweight division there but yeah man let me know what y'all thought of the fight in the um comment section make sure y'all subscribe I'll be back with my post fight discussion video of Jessica I versus Cynthia Calvillo. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Peace.